Thank you so very much for tuning into this podcast. I wanted to take this moment to thank you very much for the people that have clicked on this video, that have watched, and that have liked the video already. But I do see in our analytics that 98% of you that, that are watching are not subscribed, and my first goal is to get this down to 80%. I don't care how long it takes, but I definitely want that to be the first goal. So if you can, if you are watching this, please subscribe to the channel. This is this podcast has just got so much com coming to it, and I don't want you to miss out on anything. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the podcast. So am I Am I the only one that, that thinks this? Where Battle Royale victories, they just don't feel the same anymore. They don't feel as intoxicating as they used to. Now, it could be because the Battle Royales have been out for such a long time and I've won more than just a few. But, especially in Apex, I feel like it's just, like, you get the win. Unless it's, like, some epic, crazy last battle. You're, like, you're, like, you know, like you're, you're, you're at the edge of your seat. You are stressed to the fucking nines. Your heart's racing. Then you win. And you're, like, yeah! But, like, at the end of the day... I feel like that most wins you get are just like, okay, another win. Am I the only one that feels that, that way? Like, I, cause it feels like that the battle Royale kind of mantra that's, that we had a year, two, three ago, isn't there anymore. So now it's like the high isn't there when you win anymore. Like a lot of these streamers too, that I see a lot of these a lot of streamers that, that I watch, like they get a, they get a win in Warzone, They get a win in apex. They're just like, yay. Like they don't care. Like they're legitimately like, yay. They don't care anymore. They don't give a shit. Right. So I just feel like that maybe we've done something wrong with battle Royales. And I, I also think that's the reason why battle Royales are getting very boring because like, the only real dopamine hit, the only real high that you get is from winning. You know? Like, very rare that I will play a Battle Royale. I, I haven't played in a while, but... Actually, that's a lie. I, I played uh, Apex the other, the, the, the other day. But um, I feel like when I played a Battle Royale, when I played Apex or when I played Warzone, like, very rarely would I get a game that was actually intense. You know? And I, by intense, I mean, like, I got shot a few times. I was able to run away, heal myself up, you know, get get, get, get back into, into, into the game, yada, 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 right? Sometimes in, in Apex, it feels like I drill somebody with an entire mag. They just walk away. I'll get hit three times and my guy's down. And I'm like, how am I down right, right now? I was behind a wall. I don't know how I was down, but okay. Fucking net code. Great. So... What, I, what I'm, what I'm like, really thinking about here is, is that I feel like that Battle Royales have kind of lost their luster as far as enjoyment goes. Now, I never really enjoyed Battle Royales that much, but I could at least tolerate them, especially if I was playing with friends. And I think that the Battle Royale mantra, the Battle Royale scene, the Battle Royale feeling has gone away for a lot of players. Which is why a lot of people are going back to different games. Like, I've seen a lot of streamers go from Battle Royales to something else. Because Battle Royales, at the end of the day, are just not fun to play. And I've talked about this many times where you pretty much go into a Battle Royale. And there's very there's a very, very narrow chance of what's going to happen. So, it's either you drop in, you get shit on. You drop in, you loot, and then you get shit on. You drop in, you loot. And then you you win. Now the flip side of that one is like either you win or you like lose like the last circle. But usually you win. Like if you're the last one there, usually if you get the jump on the last you know clan or the last squad, usually you do good and you win, right? So I, I'm just I'm trying to really understand the whole portion of like of battle royales like I, I never really understood the attraction to them in the first place like that that was really what it is the only thing that i understood for the attraction of the battle royale was like losing a bunch of times and then going in and actually winning like you don't get that in multiplayer like you don't get the chance to like lose horribly multiple times or get so close multiple times in a row and then all of a sudden get that huge win of like beating you know t 20 other teams or 30 however many teams there are in the game 50 other teams in the game. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's what I think was the real, like, like the, the real attraction to battle Royales was the, was the feeling of the high of winning. But it's like now 
it just feels like another game. And it could be because we're dopamined out and we just, we were just, we've been, we've been like fucked, li literally fucked with like, with just the, 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 the dopamine hits of like winning, losing, uh, you know, screaming, yelling, social media, talking about it. You know, it's like we're everywhere you go. It's like people are talking about battle royales now, whether it be PUBG, apex Warzone, Warzone two, whatever, like, but I mean, I was burnt out about midway through Warzone with, you know, not only with making content, but like just playing the game itself. Like, cause it was just like every single day I would come on to TikTok or I would come on to the game. A new meta was born. Like it was, I felt like every time I signed on a new gun was like, was meta. And it was like so much to try to try to like, there was, it was so much to try to test each meta in e like each day. It was like, cause you had to earn the gun too sometimes, or if you didn't have it upgraded, you know, if you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't put in the hashtag time in the multiplayer session of before war Warzone was out, you couldn't do anything. Like you had to like have all the guns upgraded, you know, it's like, then they were putting new guns in. Those were getting meta and you had to like earn them by like killing people through smoke, some other bullshit. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it was, it was, uh, you know, it was, I just, I found, I find battle royales to be very draining. And I think be, my last podcast episode, I talked about this where I think they're trying to get us to go to mobile gaming type, like a mobile gaming type, type of mentality. So, so, so I think and mobile gaming is all about dopamine hits, right? Like, it's all about quick, fast-paced things getting you to spend money. And I, and, I, and I think that's what Warzone was doing for the longest time. And I think that's why we kind of got just fed up with it. Fortnite was doing it too. I'm not just trying to say Warzone. Fortnite, even Apex is guilty of it. But Fortnite and Warzone were the, big, were the two biggest culprits for this. They made a lot of money during the pandemic, those guys. Fortnite and Warzone. Activision and... Who the fuck makes Fortnite? Epic? I don't know, whoever, whoever the fuck makes Fortnite, who gives a shit? Those guys made a lot of money, okay? And you cannot deny that. If you do deny that, then you don't know, you don't know, like, anything. You've been living under a rock. So, my main point here for this whole thing is I think Battle Royale victories are not the same for, for everyone. There may be some people that still love it because they, they have never gotten a win or they haven't gotten enough wins. Like I've gotten over a I've gotten over a hundred wins in Apex. I've gotten 25, 30 wins in, in Warzone, maybe, the first one. Uh that was again mostly Warzone like bat like uh it wasn't it wasn't like the traditional Warzone. It was like Zombie Royale, you know, uh Armored Royale, like all Juggernaut Royale, like those Royales were the ones that, that I won all the time. Um but how many wins did I get in Fortnite? Probably like four or five wins in Fortnite. I didn't play for Fortnite much. I, I was never really attracted to Fortnite. But I've gotten one win, I think, in PUBG. Maybe, maybe two. I don't remember. But it's been a while. I play. I haven't played PUBG in like oh, years. So um, lots of, lot, a lot has changed pro probably in, in, in that game since the last time I played it. But the Warzone was... It just doesn't feel the same anymore. Like it just doesn't feel the same to win these games. It just feels like like another win like another multiplayer when you're like yep i won like if you get again it's like even in multiplayer you get those random times you're like that was a good game like that was a good solid game but like that you don't get that very often any, any, anymore I, I feel like that it's very it's very puppeteered it's very doctored when, when, whenever it comes to playing these games now where as i said these games are like algorithms so they're doing things to make it seem like you're winning and then you're losing and then you're winning and then you're losing. Like they may have a, they may have this down to an algorithm where if you win three games in a row, then, then if you lose five, you'll still want to play another game, you know, or if you win one in a row, if you win one and then you lose five and then you, and then you win another one, then you'll want to play five more. Like they may have this down to an algorithm, right? I don't know that, but I'm just saying that it seems like that they're smart enough to have this kind of thing down pat, right? So it just, to me, like when I take a 10,000 look, 10,000 foot perspective look on what's happening, battle royales and just the victories that you get in them, it just feels so doctored at this point. Cause I've, I've said this before. It, it just, it feels like there's 
somebody controlling the things that you do and it doesn't feel like it's fun anymore. It feels like sometimes when I shoot somebody with a half a mag, they'll still drop me. In in, in, in Apex, I'll put a full mag of like purple mag into somebody and, and I they I'll break shield. Other times I'll put a quarter of a mag into somebody and I'll and I'll down them with like purple shield. And then for me, I have I have red shield or like purple shield, and I'll get and I'll I'll blink and my guy's down. And I'm like, how am I down right now? What the fuck just hit me? Like what just down me? And then it's like I'll see the I'll see the kill cam. It says like uh, it says a fucking R a, a um uh what the hell is it called? The the light the the assault rifle that sh that shoots light rounds. R5 RS5 what the fuck it's called? That that thing will just down me in like four. Five, it'll still like six shots, and I'm like I why why I put seventeen in him. How am I down? So that that's that's the that's the problem. I think with a lot of this stuff is that it just it just feels so doctored and it just doesn't feel natural. How am I how am I how am I drilling half a mag into somebody dying them one game and then the next game I'm drilling an entire mag into somebody and can't down I can't and can't even break shield. It makes no sense. So it could be connection, but it's like again, I have less than 10 ping. I have a gigabyte of internet and with like like a hundred upload speed. How the fuck and, and is one game being amazing ping, and then the next game being like twenty, like twenty thousand? It doesn't make sense. It was doesn't make sense. <laughs> the ISP sucks. I get that, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, how how is it? How is it that like? And it's like a pattern too. It's like I've noticed. You play two games, you win those two games, or you do really good in those two games, and then the third game you get you get absolutely demolished. No guns, no ammo. That's another thing. That's the reason why. I, that's that is the main reason why I fucking hated Battle Royales was the lack of guns and ammo. Now they've definitely improved it across all games, but like there was a certain time period, and even now it still does it. Like these kids will drop. They'll get. They'll get like all these good guns, automatic guns, all this ammo, and I, and I get a fucking Mozambique with like one with one stack of ammo on backup. All the rest I'm get, I'm getting like shield heals, and I'm like, oh good, I'm just gathering all these heals for them to fucking kill me in two seconds. Like what the fuck? So that's that's the thing that I'm talking about. That's the reason why it feels so doctored. And it's like, all th that's another thing too. So I'll drop in, I'll I'll drop into a game, three games in a row, four games in a row, or whatever. All these good guns drop in the same place, same exact places. Let's say we drop four different places, four four different games. Good, good, good guns in each one of these places. Drop there again on the fifth game. Trash, all trash. It's like it's like fucking heels. We got some grenades here. We got some attachments. There's like purple attachments, purple fucking whatever. Red this, red that. No guns, no ammo. Makes no sense. I'm like, I'm like, how, and then there's, there's like 16 P2020s in like a, in like one box. And you're like, what the fuck? You're like in one pill for Apex. And you're like, what the fuck? This happens way more in Call of Duty than, than it does in, 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 in Apex. Just FYI. Like I'll drop the same place in Call of Duty. No guns. I remember watching Tim. It was the same thing. Like he'd want, he'd drop in the same place five times, four games. There'll be guns there. The fifth time. No, no fucking guns. Zero guns there. No guns, no ammo, and then there's like a team rushing him with like lo 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 loadouts or already. It's like that's that's the shit that I'm talking about. That's the stuff. It's like that is feels so doctored to where the point where I don't even want to play it anymore. Don't get me off. Get I'm done. I'm off the scene. So that that all of that stuff, all that stuff I just talked about, pretty much makes it to me feel like the battle royale victories are not the same and. I know there's other people out there that feel the same way. They just still play it because they, they think that next time it's going to be better. And that's what the algorithm is doing to you. It's saying, yep, the next time is going to be better, buddy. And then some, and a lot of times, it is better next time. Again, first four, first four games, great. You know, you win, Maybe you win one. The, the, um, the next three to five games, you're just getting dumped on. And then the next, th and then the next four games or five games, you're doing great. Maybe you win one, one or two, but it, it feels like a pattern that I've I've that my brain is locked onto. Where it's like 
three games good, four games bad, three games good, four games bad, and it just keeps going that way. That's why I don't like playing Battle Royales anymore. That's that's what I feel is the reason why I've, I've hated Battle Royales since the beginning. Because multiplayer is starting to feel like that. Then I got, to, then I got into Battle Royales and I, I noticed it. It was like raging for an hour, non-raging for an hour, raging for another hour, Raging, not raging for another, and it's like it just kept. I was like, why, why at like four o'clock I'm good, five o'clock I'm raging, right? Six o'clock I'm good, seven o'clock I'm raging again, because it's because I've just went through all these games and I've won some, and I've lost some, and then I win some and I lose some, and it just feels I, like that is really how it goes. But like, if you're good enough, it's like, is it skill based matchmaking? Is it? Just my gun doesn't fucking hit people certain times? Is it my ping? There's probably all these different factors. But it feels so doctored at the end of the day when it comes from playing these games. That's like, why would I bother playing them if it just makes me feel like shit?